Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, yesterday the Australian dollar did hold to a slightly bitish tone and managed to clip a high of 74.23 before the market retreated. And now, with the technical implications now breaking down further, should give further emphasis towards the 73.60 support. Now, what might drive that to uh, through that level today could be the retail sales that will be uh, released at 11.30. And they're looking for a negative 0.1. Um, that was previously, sorry. And they're looking for a 0.3 on the positive side. But uh, if we get a bit of a rogue number, then we could see further weakness. Now, beneath 73.60 brings in the next target of 71.60.80. Any advance, you should find resistance towards that 35.55 area. And a supply zone now seen around that 80.95 region well with the dollar index finding um support uh it cautiously uh, held to a british town tone against other major currencies and now looks towards uh 99.25 as it uh, just briefly broke above the 99 handle with bullish divergence slowly forming on the uh, dollar index the euro overnight ended up posting an outside range day to the bearish side now, with the um, with the victory coming through for Emmanuel Macron of uh, after defeating uh, Marianne Le Pen from 66.1 to 33.9 votes, now sees uh, a potential projection of a youngest president at the age of 39. So, if this uh, continues on, the market should shift its attention now back to the central bank. European Central Bank, which maintains currency weakening stimulus. So we could see weakness towards this 108.15, with any advances uh, capping around 109.70.95. A couple of things to note about dollar yen. Although the bullishness has been holding for quite a while now, it's not been mainly supported by the US dollar. It's been really yen weakness. And as you can see, the market has broken above that 113 handle and now looks towards 113.45 to the 114 handle. I'm a little bit cautious of being bullish as we approach this level, as we are overbought. Ooh, I do expect to see a pullback, which could be as deep as 111.65.80 before showing any recovery. But it looks like that the uh, market may have slightly underestimated the pound, as the uh, rally now looks like it's failing. And towards that 130, I still view as a bull trap. And with the divergence coming in clearly from the point you can see here, is that, um, let me just clear that up a little bit, is that um, we could be seeing further weakness coming through. Now what is noticeable is that the fact um, that if the weakness does continue, the immediate support comes in at 128.90.05 and lower down towards 128 2025 and reassess from there any advances towards that top side i do expect to see foul towards the 130 handle and as i say there is a bull trap above there now what a bull trap is is a situation where the market traders enter a long position towards that top side and get caught as the market sharply reverses so do keep a note on that i feel that we have seen a high now well, the gold rush seems to have um, failed after market found supply at 36 overnight, that being the high. With the recent weakness returning, I do expect to see the pressure back on 24, 26, but I'm not overly bearish. We are oversold and we could see another recovery from 16. So do be a little bit cautious there in case we get a rebound back to that 36, 41 area. And to wrap up with oil, well, the market is pretty much um, hesitant to break through with that doji there through that trend of 47.5, but I do expect to see further recovery and could see a move up towards the highs now around beyond 47.5 to 48.60.65. Any support um, challenges from the bears should find 45.80.90 as to hold. That wraps up my daily video. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday reports, and I hope you have a great day ahead.